The Dallas Stars have put the entire Western Conference on notice. They are postseason ready after a 5-0 shutout of the Edmonton Oilers. The Dallas Stars set a franchise record eight straight wins. Let's jump into this one next on Locked on Stars. Your Locked on Stars, your daily podcast on the Dallas Stars. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, Stars fans, and welcome back to another episode of Locked On Stars, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. It's a pleasure to be with you. I'm Joey Erickson, former producer of 105 Through the Fan and play-by-play voice of the Chippewa Steel. Please be sure to subscribe. We are free and available wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube. And as always, thank you so much for making us a part of your day and making us your first listen stars fans the dallas stars put on a clinic last night against the edmonton oilers they are ready for the stanley cup playoffs a five nothing shutout against connor mcdavid and company it was a brilliant brilliant performance from the dallas stars their best of the season by far and an incredible 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 game (laughs) at the american airline center last night it was brilliant all around all around complete shellacking of the oilers from the net on out just exactly what this team was built to become and they looked like a machine last night that is the theme of this first segment of locked on stars i hope you're having a wonderful week by the way i am fired up after watching that last night this is what we had hoped the dallas stars could become they have depth they have really good goaltending as jake ottinger continues to heat up back-to-back shutouts for the young man 35 saves on the night he was perfection against the oil and company he did get some help from the post so a big up to the uh, red pipes a few times but all in all just a complete team performance from the dallas stars they defend aggressively their offense is clicking and firing they're going to execute they get Above average goaltending, this team is dangerous. They are going to be a problem in the Stanley Cup playoffs if if they continue to play like this. They're going to be a very, very tough team to beat and probably the team to beat. Let's just be frank about it. I mean, what holes do they have when they play like that? And and we know the defense can be uh, a little bit shoddy here and there and there was all this talk coming in about how well they have they've won seven straight games, but they haven't really beaten any good teams. And then plow, thanks for coming, Edmonton. You can ship yourselves back home. <laughs> I mean, what more could you want out of the Dallas Stars on a Wednesday night? They set a new franchise record win streak of eight straight games. Just a lot, a lot of good to take out of the contest. And we're going to celebrate this one here today. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm all over the place, but I'm fired up. There was just so much good that came out of the, the contest yesterday. And it was really right off the hop. The depth shows its strength. Radic Foxa with his seventh goal of the season. The fourth line combined. The fourth line combined for seven points, ladies and gentlemen. Seven points from Radic Foxa, Sam Steele, and Craig Smith. Seven points. And Steele gets a tally. Smith with a couple of helpers. Foxa with the the goal and an assist. And then you can get to Wyatt Johnston and how elite he has been. We'll touch on him in just a bit. It's the Locked On Wyatt Johnston show anyways over the past month, but we're going to give him his flowers once again. And they just completely 
took the life out of the Oilers. The penalty kill was superb. Talk about the stick discipline from the Dallas Stars. They held Connor McDavid to one point in the three games in the season series. That's almost impossible to do on a bad night. McDavid's going to have two points. <laughs> and they held him off the score sheet on a night where they had four power plays because they, they defended it really well. They, they collapsed in a bit more. They were really aggressive in certain spots. But when you defend McDavid, you just have to let him race around the perimeter, namely because you can't stop him. You, you can rarely stay with him. But you just have to give him the outside and then hope you take away passing lanes. More often than not, he's, he's going to dish it off. And if Otter takes the shot, then you just have to live with hoping you have a stick there. And it's a multitude of guys. Tyler Sagan was excellent on the PK. Uh, Chris Tanev was phenomenal. Uh, um, give Sam Steele some flowers. And Radek Foxa as well for being diligent um, on the PK. Just a, a lot of great stuff. They were really good on the dots too, and um, it, which, which really helped them out. But th they took eight minutes worth of, of penalties and Edmonton was 0 for 4. And um, you really held the Oilers to a lot of perimeter chances. Edmonton ended up out shooting the Stars in that first period with, with 16 shots. And a lot of it was perimeter. And I, I thought they were excellent of kind of just allowing Edmonton to, to take the outside of the rink and test Ottinger from distance. And when... Ottinger needed to be there. He was fantastic. The Stars cleaned up in front of them. You look at that first period, I want to say it was Tanev that just completely destroyed Dreisaitl. It may have been Steel in front of the net. Otherwise, he would have had a, a wide open net. It's just, it's excellent stuff. Taking away the interior of the ice, forcing a long shot. Hope Ottinger gets to it, covers up the rebound. If not, you got to box out. You got to clear out. And it, it was a clinic. It, it really was. And it, it's it's um it's it's really really hard to to find any negatives in a game last night or to to feel cautious moving forward about what could you know what could become of the Dallas Stars because this is this is what we hope they could become. Um, they look dangerous. They look dangerous. I mean. They're the best team in the Western Conference, record-wise, and I just think they are. And there's some really, really good teams. Look, uh, I, I'm still going to be worried about the Colorado Avalanches of the world and Vegas and even Edmonton for that matter because McDavid's going to be McDavid. But good night. There's not a lot of teams that can match the Dallas Stars' depth. They really can't. Just um, an incredible night. It's Jake Ottinger's first time in his career with back-to-back -back shutouts. The Stars were relentless, too. That's another thing. Just relentless on the forecheck. That second period, they get four goals within a, a span of six minutes when they just completely broke the Oilers in the, the last five minutes of the second period. They cashed in on the power play, which was huge because they had some looks. They missed the net way too much <laughs> on their odd man rushes, but they get a power play in that second period. And then Miro with the beauty of a dish to Sagan, who was able to clap one home for his 23rd of the season. And then you get Johnston on the four on one coming out of the box. Um, and then they just they just took control of the game and and they closed it out. I mean, they closed it out before the third. <laughs> I, I think Edmonton had lost all hope after Dallas just kind of poured it on there in the second period. They ended up out shooting uh, out shooting Edmonton eighteen to ten in the second period. They go one for three on the power play. And look, it, it's it's from the net out. It's just it's from the net out. Everybody's involved. The, the back end looks really good. You're, you're throwing whoever with whoever on the pairings. And Niels Lundqvist gets a few shifts here and there. That They're trying to protect him, you can tell, or at least uh, giving the illusion that they want to protect him because <laughs> he didn't play all that much. 
uh, really in the in the first two periods. Would actually love to see his uh, his time on ice in the game. We'll have to take a look at, at five on five. Uh, Lundqvist ended up with just over eleven and a half minutes in all situations. Lundqvist finished with the second least at 1136. So he just played at five on five. So they're certainly protecting him. They, they didn't give him a, a ton of shifts, but I, I, I understand. I, I thought Suter had a wonderful game. I mean, Miro and Harley were as, as good as we've seen them and, and for a while. Um, that that's not a huge knock on them, but like they, they stepped up to a different level. And I think they do that when they play great teams, I mean, just it was it was brilliant from 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 everywhere through the lineup. I mean, you look at and Fox and Steele, they graded out the highest of the stars. I mean, the fourth line was relentless and they set the tone. They, they set the tone for the stars and everybody followed suit. And I just I felt like it was infectious up and down the lineup. And, and the stars certainly had some fortuitous bounces. Edmonton hit, what, three or four pipes in the game? You, you have to take that with a grain of salt. But they capitalized on it. They they executed. They took advantage of it. And, I mean, they ran them out of the building. <laughs> they truly did. Um, and just uh, a fantastic effort. Eight straight wins. It's a new franchise record. Jason Robertson by the way, reaches 50 assists. He becomes the sixth player in franchise history to record consecutive 50 assist campaigns since Mikey Ribeiro in 08 to 09. And yeah, just uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Second straight shutout from Jake Ottinger. The expected goals against was 3.56. Edmonton certainly had their looks. I mean, that power play so good. <laughs> and they're so beautiful. I just sit there laughing. Like, what are you what are you supposed to do? Except hope you get sticks on pucks where you break up rhythm, you break up timing. And they did that enough where they could not get a lot of clean looks towards Ottinger in, in the game and especially on the man advantage. And um and the Dallas Stars look like a complete wagon and they're ready for the Stanley cup playoffs. I, I'm that's just, that's, that's what it is. They, they put the, the Western conference on notice and I, I'm going to try to come back down to earth here because at the end of the day, yes, it's just a Wednesday in April and it doesn't truly matter at the end of the day, but um, it feels damn good. It feels damn good to come on here and just, just feel confident about what the stars are putting out there. And and we touched on it, right? They hadn't played the best opponents as of late. But you, you play a Kraken team that is certainly pretty decent. And then you play an Edmonton team that is going to be a force in the Western Conference playoffs. They're going to be a story. And you just you just blow through them. You just blow through them. And um and it's the way they did it, right? It's the way they did it. And it's just, it's a combination of everything we've been trying to put together and hoping for, for 75 games. And it's starting to click. It's starting to click. And um, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And we can just kind of come on here and gloat a bit. <laughs> we can come on here and gloat. Okay, we got to segue in. This segment went a little long for good reason. The next one probably will too. Wyatt Johnston, just elite. Elite. He's an elite center iceman. He's going to be a top 15 player in the league by the end of this season. I think he's going to get that kind of discourse. And he, and he deserves it. He certainly deserves it. Wyatt Johnston. It's the Locked On Wyatt Johnston podcast as we continue in just a moment. Today's episode of Locked on Stars is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive 
eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. It's just like the Dallas Stars. Okay, they give you a little bit of everything. They don't tease you a ton. You know what you're going to get, at least during this last week or so. And eBay Motors is the same way. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit only available to U.S. customers. Happy Thursday, by the way, Stars fans, I hope April is getting off to a wonderful start for yourself personally as uh, as well as it has for the Dallas Stars. They just keep on rolling and chugging towards the playoffs. So Wyatt Johnston is uh, as, as elite as it gets in terms of what the Dallas Stars can provide. And we know this. Uh, he, he has a goal and an assist last night in just under 16 minutes. His game score was 2.39. And um, and that doesn't even do it justice. Numbers don't do it justice with him. <laughs> they really don't. But here we go. I, I have a few tidbits I, I have to throw out there. So every 20-year-old in the cap era who has hit 30-plus goals, by the way, his goal yesterday made him for the first time in his career, a 30-goal score. Every 20-year-old in the cap era who has hit 30-plus goals, Ovechkins, the Ovechkins, Ovechkin, Matthews, Crosby, Pasternak, Monahan, McDavid, Malkin, Line, Kopitar, Evander Kane, Bergeron, Taze, Stamkos, and now Wyatt freaking Johnston. Wyatt Johnston joins that company. He gets better every game. The first Dallas star, the first Dallas star in franchise history to post a 30 goal season prior to his 21st birthday. He's the second in uh, franchise history, including the North Stars. And the first to do it was Brian Bellows, who got 35. And um, yeah, it's just been incredible. Um, and, and it's funny to think that he actually kind of had a slump during the middle of the year, didn't he have like one goal and like a span of 18 games at one point? <laughs> I mean, if he just chucked home a couple more and it wasn't like he was playing bad, he just couldn't find the back. Kind of like rope of hints right now. Feels like everything he's thrown at the net looks close. It's just not going in. But, um, but uh, Wyatt is just on cruise control. He, um, he, he continues to be the best Dallas Stars player on the ice, like every night. Him and Jamie Ben, th the beat goes on, and and Ben gets another goal. He's up to what is it now? Nineteen goals on the season. It's just, I, I'm at a loss for words. What Wyatt Johnston has become, right, right before our eyes, and what he's just played over a hundred games in the National Hockey League, like. <laughs> They completely stole him in the draft. Completely stole him, and then, um, and then you add Stan Coven to that. It's just it, it's it's mesmerizing night in and night out what the, what they do. And um, I come on here and I feel like I have to talk about him every single day. Like he just one, he deserves it, and you can't help but take notice. Like every time they're on the ice, you put that line with the top pairing of Miro and Harley, like, good night, good night. Watch out anybody. Watch out anybody in the NHL. It just seems unfair. Um, he's just he's so good. He's so poised. And, and now he's just like it, it's the confidence and it's it's him seeing it like the puck go in. It's unstoppable. <laughs> it, it really, and I can truly just laugh. I just sit back. I'm like, this is so deadly. This is so deadly. We're so spoiled. 
We're so spoiled with the young talent that the Stars have on top of everything else with Joe Pavelski and Ben and Sagan and Duchesne and Lindell and Tanev who have been great. But it's just like the kids, man. <laughs> they can just shoulder their load and, uh, and teams just don't seem to have an answer. Uh, Edmonton didn't. Uh, that's for sure. Seattle didn't. And um, and Dallas is able to get eight straight uh, victories out of it. Great stuff. At, at, at five on five, his expected goals, four, by the way, is like better than McDavid. Like, yes. Like, he's elite. He's going to be a top 15 player by the end of this year. Seriously. I think he's a top 15 player in the National Hockey League. And I don't know, maybe that's a bit hasty throwing that out there, but look, I'm going to start the conversation. I'm Frankly, I may be not putting him high enough. <laughs> he may be top 10. Um, and, and yeah, it's not like he's putting up gaudy scoring numbers and that's, that's, that's not going to get a lot of love nationally because he's not a top 10 scorer in the National Hockey League. Give me a break. Give me a break. You see what he's doing. Um, and I said, the, the, the numbers don't tell you everything about why Johnston. And um, yeah, insane stuff. Okay. Okay. I could go for an hour tonight. I really could. But um, a late puck drop. So up recording this late. And then I have to get to bed. So <laughs> um, let's let's talk about the stars getting healthy. We got Yanni Hockenpah. And Evgeny Dodonov, who seem to be nearing a return, or at least looking good for the Stanley Cup playoffs. And uh, we'll roll into that, and we'll we'll call this one. Okay, great stuff. Stick around. We'll talk about that. Stars get healthy here around the corner in just a moment. Today's episode of Locked On Stars is brought to you by Robin Hood. Did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024, validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA, available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC, is a registered broker-dealer. Be sure to check out Locked On Sports today. It is on YouTube. It's also free on the Amazon Fire TV channels app. It is the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel talking about the biggest sports stories in the world. Be sure to go check that out. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell of Locked On Stars. Never miss an episode. For all you new listeners, if there is any on today's episode, welcome aboard. Join the bandwagon any of you DFW sports aficionados that like to jump on for the Stars playoffs or you have recently joined, whatever, I don't care. Welcome aboard. It's a great time to be here. And uh, we're fired up. We are straight fired up about this Dallas Stars team who is now 48-19-9, 105 points, the best team in the Western Conference, second in the National Hockey League. As we speak, actually, they just finish it up. Uh, Kings beat the Kraken 5-2. Canucks were able to, to take down the uh, the Arizona Coyotes. So uh, 
Vancouver does add a couple of points there, so they're still within three of Dallas. But um, all in all, some uh, great stuff. The Kings are actually within a point now of Nashville, so Dallas could very easily play either one of them. So um, at this point, I don't care. Bring them all on. <laughs> Bring them all on. They're ready. But um, some some good news coming out uh, of the Dallas Stars again here this week. It's, uh, it looks like Evgeny Dodonov is going to be ready for the playoffs. Could be ready by, by the end of the season, but looks like he could be ready for uh, for the Stanley Cup playoffs. He has been skating. So has Yanni Hockenpah. They think he will also be okay for the Stanley Cup playoffs. So that's just two other pieces to the puzzle that you can add. And as I've mentioned before, I think they're really going to lean towards Hockenpah once he's back because they're obviously trying to protect Lundqvist to some degree. Look, his usage is is pretty apparent. He he just played over 11 minutes in the entire hockey game, which was uh, second least just behind Craig Smith, who plays notoriously the least amount of minutes for uh, the Stars this season. So I, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna lean towards putting Hawk and Pop back in, which look, um, it 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 wouldn't be my cup of tea. It, it, it certainly wouldn't like. I would ride with what you have that has been really, really good for you moving forward here. But um, I, I just, I, I get the feeling that's going to happen. Dodonov will be interesting. Um, Do you really want to throw him into the mix and see if he can get into a rhythm or, or find his game? Like he's been out for what? It, it's been a while now. I, I'm, I gotta actually take a look at the last time He's um he's been in the lineup, but do you really want to risk throwing him into the mix for I don't know Sam Steele or, or Smith? But do you even really want to do that? Like I, I don't really see where Dodonov fits in this lineup. He he's he's a great depth piece. He is exactly what you want that up in the rafters. And if somebody gets hurt, you can plug and play, and you know what you're gonna get out of him. He, 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 I think he he's he's going to fit perfectly for that role because people are going to get banged up. Maybe you have a, a strong series lead, three to one. Someone's a, a bit banged up or something. You can give somebody a rest and Dodonov steps in, right? I think that would be uh, an exceptional role for him because I just don't see his fit. Like you're not going to put him with Johnston and Ben and you're not going to mess up the other two lines. And and maybe he gives you a little more punch on the fourth, but it, it's it's hard to argue him over Steele or Smith when he hasn't played. It's just I, I don't know if you want to wait long enough for him to find his game. So yeah, yeah, he went out with a lower body injury on February thirteenth. So it, it's going to be two months by the time the playoffs roll around. Hawk and Pot will will come up on a month. As the playoffs kind of get rolling, it is possible that he could return before that. Um, but but two months, and I just I don't really see a great fit for him. Um, but look, he's another piece. But I, I think he needs to to stay on the shelf and and watch until you need him, because um, I think you you have what you want. Um, and then maybe maybe if he's if he's good to go in the last two or three games, depending on the playoff situation. Maybe you have the central locked up. Maybe you have the West locked up and then yeah, get him in like rest some guys and, and, and see what you get out of them. And maybe if he shows something, he flashes and I don't know, but um, I just feel like no reason to put him in the mix, but um, great news that they're both getting healthy and the stars are going to have a full complement of weapons of pieces to put together in this Stanley Cup playoff run, and they're primed and ready to go. And these are where the questions lie. This has been the conversation over the last month here on the show. Okay, here we go. Like, it's go time. Show me what you're made of. Um, and it's hard to, to not get your hopes up after what we witnessed last night. 
they're just a really good hockey club. They're a really, really damn good hockey club. <laughs> and they shut out the Edmonton Oilers five to nothing. They got a back to back on the weekend here, taking on Chi Town and another big one on Sunday against Colorado. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But Dallas Stars set a new franchise record, eight straight wins. Wyatt Johnston is elite. He's a top 10 player in the National Hockey League. It's a definitive statement. I'm making it, okay? He's a top 10 player in the National Hockey League. I don't care. It's what he is. And don't come at me with his numbers. And his numbers are really good. They're not like out of this world, okay? Maybe one day they will. <laughs> uh, maybe next season you're going to get like top five score in the NHL. But uh, great stuff. Fantastic stuff. Stars are first place in the Western Conference, by the way. All righty. That'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Just, just spread some love in the comment section. Please like. Hit that subscribe button. We have been growing incredibly well over the last three months or so. And, and that's a, a huge shout out to you guys for listening. Seriously, every day we're almost to uh, 2,300 subscribers. Just shout out to every single one of you that have tuned in um, at any point during the season, whether it's been the last week, whether it's it's been every single day, like I know many of you do and you comment. I, I really do appreciate it. It's so, so fantastic and so fun to be uh, along with the ride, okay? And we're going to hit the ground running here. We're going to hit the ground running. Okay, that'll do it. Enough with me rambling. You can follow me on Twitter, JoeyTheJet19. Follow Locked on Stars on Twitter. Plenty of stuff to be excited about. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you tomorrow. So long, Stars fans.